Now then, welcome back. Yeah, feels good. Back out metal detecting. I'm back out with the, uh, well, back out. First time out actually using the uh, Deep Tech Smart Plus Pro. So we need this a go. Yeah, it's field I've done quite a few times. Uh, what have I got off it? I've only ever got a couple of Georgian pennies, like George the Fifth pennies, so, and the spindle wall, and a couple of lead weights. Never, nothing, nothing else really. So yeah, we'll see how good this is. I'm just gonna be literally turning it on and I'll work out the settings as I go along really. But yeah, dead excited. Smart Plus Pro, I found out this bit here, if you pull it towards you, all metal mode, push it two tones so you'll get them ferrous tones, the deep for the uh, for that iron we don't want. And as you can see on all these um, doodads, these little markings, so that's, I'm just going to presume, well that's sensitivity, no it's discrimination. So we'll just, uh, I might leave it at that for the minute. I'm gonna have the iron volume quite high. And then, uh, yeah, we'll ground balance it. From what I've um, seen and read online, just like, you have to manually ground balance it. So it's just like a lot of others, you just pump it and twist it until you get no tone. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. Sorry if you get any wind noise, because it's uh, starting to pick up. I've got the very first target. I can't tell you what it was reading because there's no VDIs, but it sounded good, so I thought I'd dig it. I'm quite impressed, really. Just down in here, I don't actually, it was just sort of like in the sidewall, just there. I wonder if you can see the little imprint where it was. Just there. Uh, took a while to get it. See what we see what we got. I think it's a little, some sort of little cog off something, maybe off a watch. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's actually a fairly decent first signal, I'd say. Maybe a little wheel off a toy car or something. I don't know, but that's good. It's a mini little steering wheel from a little mouse's car. Right, on to the next signal. This was the first target sounded again sorry if you get anywhere nice this target was the first one uh, what had like a grunt to it so i was like hmm so i like checked it this side checked it that side and it was slightly grunty so yeah dug it out scanned it and then it started sounding good i found it i flipped out the clod i haven't really dug it uh cleaned it but i think it's a piece of lead Uh, yeah, just going for a scrap bit of lead, but now I know what lead sounds like. Yep, no, nothing amazing about it, just a bit of lead. Right, I've got a decent target, I thought I would show you with the, uh... to me that sounds alright. Run here and there. All you got to do, pinpoint, keep your finger on it. Yeah, I'll tell you, pinpoint, just like any other. Alright, we'll dig it out and see what we got. So, yes, put it out, and we've got a bit of rusty pipe. Yeah, it wasn't very deep either, so yeah, no wonder it sounded good. Now here we are on the next signal, it's in the spoil somewhere, it was like, I don't know how deep that is, but it's a deep hole, it's like pinpointed depth, you know, 
what I mean? It was down in there. Got it out. And it's in here somewhere. I think it might be that. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Oh. It's just a, I don't know, some sort of decorative part of something. Machinery and maybe furniture. Right, um, yeah, I'm a bit shocked because I haven't really looked at what I found. I've gone to the next target, obviously. Um, scanning over it was like, yeah, it sounded good. So I dug it out, it was in the clod, and um, yeah, I found it. I just put it out, I haven't looked at it, so we can look at it together. Hopefully, this is what I think it is because if it is, it's a bucket lister for me, and it's the first I've ever found. So yeah, flip the clod. You see where I had to stab the pinpointer in to get it. And here is the little thing. I think I found a, is it a watch winder? Sorry if you get any wind noise. I, I think it's got like detail on. Oh, uh, this is mint. Oh my God, I'm absolutely over the moon. Is it a watch winder? I have no idea actually. Some it leads at the bottom. Oh my god. Right, I'll clean it up and then I'll get back to you. Right, I've cleaned up the best I can until I get home. I don't exactly know what it says really. Uh, small pace uh, something something leads at the bottom hatch the baker and uh, come on absolutely made up with this I'm going watch winder but oh come on focus if any of you guys can give me any more details please leave a comment down below oh my god I'm buzzing here we are on the next target either that or it was sounding all right, but I wasn't giving high hopes, and that was for a reason. We got some linker chain. Woohoo! Yeah, we got another target on another windy day, and we've got a Nike tick, or more commonly known as half a horseshoe. Right here we are on the next target. It wasn't very deep. It sounded really good. But we just got a bit of rubbish. Yeah, kind of. Where is it led? No, just a bit of trash. Really like a gateway, so I expected it to be pretty turd. But yeah, it's what it is. Right, far to a live dig with the Deep Tech Pro Smart Plus. Sounds good. We'll dig it out. Do, 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 do. I'm saying it's about here. Got distracted. I don't know if you can hear it, but he is squawking away. Anyways. Dig this out. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's a bit too close. Let's put him back. Yeah, 
think it's in the club. Let's see. Oh. There it is. Yay! Just a bit of tin file. It's in the clod. Oh, it's out. I think. And it's just this. I don't know. It's had a shape to it. It's part of something, but I think it's lead. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, back home now. I had a good few hours out with the uh, Smart Plus Pro. Smart Plus, Smart Plus Pro, and it's proper hard when you got a lisp. Yeah, I had a proper good day out. I really enjoyed myself with it. I'm, uh, yeah, impressed with it. Definitely will be out again with it. I can't wait. But yeah, it was like dead easy to, like, set up, turn on, and just go. And it might just be with like them old analog style detectors. I feel like they go deep and they get them really small targets like that field where i got that watch winder i've been doing that field and i've been over that spot like f so many times in three years so yeah i'm very impressed with it so definitely can't wait to get back out of it and as you can tell it's the middle of um appleby horse fair so we got all all the romany gypsies irish travelers all that community are up so yeah quite lucky that I managed to get out today with all the traffic but yeah thank you subscribers if you haven't already hit that subscribe button but yeah I'll turn you around and we'll have a look at this uh watch winder because yeah I'm like proper over the moon with it so yeah there it is I've been trying I've cleaned it up and I've um, put some renaissance wax on only one I've ever actually found so yeah, it's a uh, yeah buzzing about it. Watchmakers, watchmaker, and I tried to figure it out at the bottom what it would have said, but I don't know. Turn it over. Small, I think it is anyway. I think there might have been a letter, but I can't figure out what it would have been. Small page and Vicar Lane leads. So yeah, if um, anyone can any shed any light or even point me in the right direction to help research it, it would be much appreciated. Yeah, proper made my day finding this. So yeah, I'll see you on my next decent video anyway. So yeah, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to get back out.